Textbook of Rockwood and Green's Fractures in Adults. Section 1. General Principles. Biomechanics of Fracture and Fracture Fixation. Basic Concepts. Bone and joint movement are influenced by force and loads. Two major loads on long bone are translation load and rotation load. Basic force that may affect bones include compression, tension, torsion, and bending. Each force leads to different fracture type. Stress and strain also influence how force affect bone. The top left picture shows a fixation construct setup in a mechanical testing machine. In this example, a long bone is fixed with the plate and subjected to bending. The top right picture shows the construct during loading in the elastic region and plastic region. And the bottom picture shows the resulting measurements from the testing machine, which measures stress and strain at the point of the applied load. The graph demonstrates the elastic region in which the plate acts like a spring, returning to its original shape after the load is released, the plastic region in which the plate may have permanent deformity, and the failure load in which the plate fails. The area beneath the curve or the pink area is the toughness of the material or the amount of energy that the material can absorb before failure. Implants Factors that govern stiffness and yield point of implants are material, shape, the ability to resist fatigue under cyclic loading or endurance limit, in which effect of stress riser must be considered, and viscoelasticity. Biomechanics of intact and healing bone Bone hierarchy Lower level of bone consists of single collagen fibrils with embedded apatite crystals. Changes in collagen mineral ratio would affect elastic modulus on the bone. Reduced bone density would result in decreases of strength as much as the square of reduced in bone density, which are applicable in osteoporosis. Healing process. During fracture healing, callus initially starts as a disorganized random array of fibers, further progressively reorganized to become stiffest along the directs of the major applied loads, muscles, forces, and body weight. Callus in the periosteal surface is beneficial in increasing the moment of inertia. Several factors may influence bone strength, which are age, defects, or holes in bones. As fracture heals, the strength is affected by changes in mineral content, callus diameter, and fiber organization. Advanced age is associated with increase in osteoclast activity, which impairs healing process. Biomechanics of bone fracture Bone is weak in tension and strongest in compression. Tensile stress affecting a particular region of a loaded bone would cause failure in that region first, examples in transverse and spiral fracture. Compressive load results in failure of cortical bone by shear, slippage along the diagonal due to bone is weaker in shear compared to compression. Compression combined with bending may result in butterfly fracture. Fail in tension progresses to the distal part of the bone which weakens its compression and result in oblique fracture line, or shear. Biomechanics of Fracture Implants Problems regarding to implant failure may be divided into biological and mechanical. First, biological are systemic function, like smoking, diabetes, and steroids. The second one is mechanical problem of implant, which includes screw breakage by shearing during insertion, screw pullout, screw breakage by cyclic loading, breakage of fracture fixation plates, plate failure through a screw hole, familiar splitting due to intramedullary nail insertion, IM nail and locking screw breakage, loosening of external fixator pins, excessively flexible external fixation, fixation in osteoporotic bone, and circlage wire breakage. Biomechanical aspects of fracture fixation in specific locations. Fixation in the proximal femur. Fixation can be challenging due to higher compressive force in femoral head, 4 to 8 times the body weight during normal activities. Fracture common in elderly, which shows low density of trabecular bone and poor mechanical quality. Fixation around metaphyseal region of the knee. It is also challenging due to fixation of multiple small fragments of primary cancerous bone. The most important factor identified for plane fixation is maintaining contact at the cortex opposite the fixation device. Risk factor of reduction loss are age greater than 60, premature weight bearing, fracture comminution, and severe osteoporosis. 
fixation of spine. External fixation device of spine in cervical spine injuries is hollow apparatus, which stabilizes bone in bending. Different type of attachment of fixation systems may affect subsequent performance. For example, screw can resist force from all directions, except rotation about its longitudinal axis, which, while a wire can only resist tension. Fixation of humerus Proximal humerus fractures fixed with locking plates provided greater stability against torsional loading. In comparing different types of lead plate constructs, the stiffest construct employed an 8-hole, low dynamic compression plate, contoured into a blade configuration, and fixed with a diagonal screw that triangulates with the end of the blade. This arrangement may be stiffer than other blades. Thank you.